Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here. So in today's video, I have a pretty massive unboxing for you guys. This will be part one of my Hermes collective haul. Yes, I've bought these things over the last few months and I think it's time to do an unboxing. And of course, I've already started using a few of these, so it'll be a good time to unbox it, I think. Okay, let me put it on the table. I think we'll start from the top of the box. So here we have item number one, which no ribbons. I've already been using this item for the past, I don't know, six months, I suppose. So without further ado, let's open her up. I bought an extra set of Apple straps and I love these because it allows you to change up the look of your Apple watch and especially the ones made by Hermes. They're really, really good quality, which is called the Kilim. The reason why I was really attracted to this one is because it's a deployment strap which they don't often make for the female watches or for the smaller watch sizes. This is the deployment part. So let's attach her. Um, as you can see, there are many, many settings. I use the one at the most inside. So the smallest setting, this little piece here, it does click into place. So this part never comes off. It's pretty much secure on it and you have to unclip it from underneath if you really wanted to undo it. As I said, it's a deployment strap so you literally click it in place. If I'm in a rush, I just click it in place and I can start running. It's all cool. It's 7 I, <laughs> I would describe it as a harder silicone material and it has some sort of design on it which is a really good texture. It is still a tiny big but you know, you don't want it to be super tight I suppose on your wrist. And like I said, uh, those of us who have baby wrists, it still fits, which is so amazing because a lot of Apple straps or Hermes straps don't fit very, very small wrists and you have to punch extra holes if you can even punch extra holes on the fabric. Let's move on to these two items, which some of you might have already seen because I did do a quick unboxing on one of my live streams where I did a Q&A and I did unbox it there because it was something that I bought on that day and so I just kind of showed it but it's two twillies it's a really nice classic twilly so here is how it looks like you can also put it on your bag of course so that's the first twilly if you haven't seen it already and you can see there this is the same Twilly, but in the lighter color version, also super timeless, neutral colors. So as you can see, the black and gray, it actually has some blue on it, which I didn't even notice until I read the label. And then this version is the white version with a little bit of gold and gray, very, very neutral. And here is the style code really nice with like a white blouse <laughs> initially i did buy this twilly for my new kelly i just really enjoy the silk products that Hermes makes and this one is no exception even though it's a smaller version of their silk product um and yeah it's just kind of like a nice accessory i find especially with a white blouse in the winter time when you want to keep your neck a little warm but without the bulk of a full scarf i think these twillies will come in super handy they even make little twilly rings so yeah those are the two twillies that i bought and yeah they're very very nice and timeless great things come in the smallest packaging in my opinion so here we have a very small box i said on my wish list that i had some jewelry on my wish list from Hermes. originally this was not the one that i wanted here we go it's a pretty small box to reveal Ta-da! So initially I had this collection in mind that I really, really wanted to buy and that I added on my wish list. I went ahead and tried it in store and I didn't fall in love with it. And instead, when I saw that they had this one in stock, which we never really had in stock in the past, I think I've always seen it online, but I've never seen it in person. But once I saw that they had this one in stock, they also had the white gold in stock and I tried it, I immediately fell in love. It kind of matches, even though one is 
just plain gold and this one is all encrusted in diamonds it's literally diamonds all over on the bottom on top on the sides and it's so pretty the design is really really unique you won't see or find anything like that anywhere else of course it's for the pre-spend it's still really really pricey and expensive but the piece itself really stands out and it's really stunning a super comfortable ring and although the motif is very bling bling the rest of the ring is actually really dainty and so comfortable it's kind of like that rounded edge this is the top of it and it's the perfect index ring for me i feel like i found uh, the perfect stack that is different from my usual because i always used to wear my kelly ring and then my coco crush from chanel but now i found another stack that is so pretty and goes really well with my Cartier Love. I feel like this design is so unique that it's definitely worth the splurge. I definitely still have my original wish list that I'm still waiting. Hopefully it will make it in time for part two of my haul, maybe around my birthday, I'm really hoping. And speaking of jewelry, I'm sure that you guys have noticed the beautiful, gorgeous pieces that I've been wearing. So thank you to Gingerberry for letting me introduce you to their beautiful pearl jewelry in this next part of the video. I have a total of eight pieces to show you. This necklace is made with 18 karat solid gold and Aurora pearls. These pearls are double A or triple A pearl grade, which are really, really, really nice quality. Same thing with the Tassel Love, 18 karat solid gold, triple A pearl grade Aurora pearls. Not only do they pride themselves with the most top quality materials, such as the natural pearls, the 18 karat gold or sterling silver, and natural diamonds, the packaging is also fantastic. Fantastic. and their designs are also really thought out very modern and most of the pieces there is more than one way to wear it and it's really really easy you just move this clasp to any other portion of the necklace to make it shorter or longer and so this is one way of wearing it which is a lariat you can also make it shorter into a choker or you can make it longer by moving the clasp over to this side this side that side just wherever fits your neckline again with this piece also there's two ways of wearing it remove the long part but still really really cute and very classy on my left arm, I have also two of their pieces. I have this gorgeous two pearl ring and then their classic pearl bracelet. Most rings made with pearls are gonna look a little bit dated and not super modern and maybe a little bit mature, but this one is actually a really, really cute, substantial sterling silver ring with two gorgeous Aurora pearls on top and i love that it also fits a variety of sizes you can pinch it to make it a little bit smaller or bigger this is not just because they sent me these items they are truly truly well made and i really fell in love with this ring it goes so well with my left hand stack which is all white gold the fun part for me is that i don't even need to unclasp it because i could just do this and put it on and just adjust the chain like that by sliding the chain. I also love the little heart detail on the chain, which is so well thought out. The best part about these two pieces is that they're so affordable. We'll talk about the difference between Aurora and Akoya Pearl in a minute, but if you ask me, I think they look really, really nice and much better than Chanel pearls because Chanel pearls are not even real pearls. These ones are called Lune et Meteor. These are made with Aurora pearls, triple A grade. There's a little natural diamond and 18 karat gold. Again, with this earring, there's multiple ways to wear it. You can wear it as a long dangly earring like so, or you can pull it on this diamond part here and kind of just make it a little bit shorter kind of like a daintier, shorter pearl dangly, or you can pull it all the way down like that and make it into kind of like the inverse. In my opinion, it's a better value to buy this kind of pearl jewelry than to buy Chanel jewelry, which I've stopped completely buying their costume pearl jewelry. In fact, I've sold most of my collection. This necklace is called the Serenity. It's made with seven of their Akoya pearls, triple A grade, 18 karat gold and also a two-in-one design. In my opinion, this is more than two-in-one because not only can you wear it 
as is. There's a little kind of stone on that clasp. This necklace is also fully adjustable or you can make it a lot shorter by pulling the other way like that and also make that as a little choker as well. So with this necklace, it's actually made with Akoya pearls. And if you compare it side by side with the Aurora pearls, you're gonna notice that the luster and the roundness is even more perfect. They're both a type of cultured pearls. With Aurora pearls, it's produced in freshwater mussels. With Akoya pearls, on the other hand, they're cultivated in saltwater oysters and they're prized for their roundness high luster, typically white or cream colors. If you want to learn more about all the different grades and all the different kinds of pearls that they use, they have all of that on their website as well. Two more pieces and these kind of go together in my opinion. So I have these earrings which if you ask me, they kind of remind me of the Dior earrings. I like that these are fine jewelry and also real Aurora pearls. And I also like that these are a little bit more dainty. They also come in two designs. I like the one with the pushback instead of the scrooge, but it's really up to you. You can choose between the two. This is their long strand of Baroque pearls. So gorgeous, really, really luxurious. I love the fact that I can just double it up. Very classy, showing just the white part or I can make one a lot longer. And I can even also use the clasp as a decoration, as part of the necklace, and it gives it a little pop of hardware. It's just so classy and goes so well with any of these crew necks. I also love it layered like this. I think that's kind of fun. It's only 179 US dollars, so it's such a good value and it's so beautiful. If you ask me, I think this is much better value and a better piece of jewelry than of the fake costume jewelry, in my opinion. They also offer a customization service where you can customize your own jewelry piece, choose your own style and material to create your own. They also offer a 30-day free return or exchange within the US and the UK. I'm most impressed about their thought out and really modern design. I like that most of the pieces you have multiple ways to wear. The pearls that they use are definitely top-notch quality because even their Aurora pearls look so perfect to me. The packaging is really nice. They even include a little shopping bag, the certificate for each item, the little ribbons, so you can buy that for yourself or for a loved one. Pearls are definitely not the cheapest things out there especially if you go to Tiffany or if you go to Mikimoto like uh, pearls can get really expensive especially at this level of quality the fact that they're able to offer such reasonable pricing is also really really nice whatever your choice is you can't go wrong because every single piece on their website looks amazing anyway I'm gonna have every single piece that I featured linked down below along with all the promotion information so check out the links and I hope that you're gonna love them as much as I do all right, let's continue with our unboxing. So here we have a little box and I've already started using this item because um, that's the reason why I asked for it. So it has this little booklet and it's a little charm that I asked my essay if they had any stock. And here you go. It is the birdie charm. And mine has a couple of exotic skin on it. It has the alligator, matte alligator on the wings, a bit of lizard skin on the head. I think it's Chev here on the tail. And then I think it's Epsom on the, um, like the part here on top of the head. And it's in palladium hardware. And this part is in black color swift one day i showed up in my store with my mini kelly and i asked my essay if she could think of any charms that would look good on the mini kelly and she came out with this and even though it's not the same hardware because this is palladium so when i put it on i was like oh it's kind of cute and honestly it didn't really have to live on this bag anyway it could always go on other bags um so yeah, I could use it on the Mini Kelly, but I might end up using it on my other bags. It also looks quite good on my Birkin. So yeah, I got the little birdie charm. It's not necessarily going to go on this bag anymore, but um, it's pretty cute. I really like it. I think it's quite unique. 
um, something different from the rodeos. Here's the next item. Very familiar size box. And I tend to love to buy these things because I love to be able to match to my bags and make sure that it works well with my outfits. So this one, you guys will see why I bought it. And yes, it is a belt kit. And here you go. So this is the belt buckle that I picked. It's called um, something Mayon, I forgot. But it basically is the same shape as my ring, as everything else that they have at Hermes, which is very reminiscent of their Shendong design. And as you can see, I picked it in palladium. And that is because I am trying to find a new belt that would match my newest bag, my Kelly 28. And all of you know that my Kelly 28 is basically a white color Kelly. This side is Epsom in blanc, which is white. So it's a pure white. And the other side is in Swift, which is in a tube. And because this is the plain white color, it will match with my bag a lot better because it's a neutral white. My bag is a little bit more cool tone. Whereas my other belts, I have a more warm tone white. So this one with the palladium hardware will match my Kelly a little bit better. This is technically in gray color. It's called Gris Pal, but it is more on the cool side. So this white belt will match it slightly better, even though it is a real, a true white color. But um, yeah, I feel like it matches a little bit better. For your reference, this belt comes in different sizes. So I picked the size 75 and I asked my store to punch two extra holes so that I have a total of five different settings to work with. So the two extra holes that they punch would work for my high waist and these other ones would work for my mid waist. And yeah, it's a reversible belt so you could also use it on the other side. The other side also works really well with palladium hardware and it would look like that. More of a cool tone and uh, really neutral, of course. Here's the next item. <laughs> so yeah, I bought a total of three belts this time around, one of which I will leave for part two of the unboxing because it's still at Hermes getting holes punched, but I will show you the second belt that I bought. And this one I kind of bought on a whim because, well, I've always been a fan of this belt and I kind of just, I don't know, I guess I kind of just wanted more colors. It's still a neutral, but um, yeah. Did I really need it? I guess not because I have enough belts to work with, but it's really, really nice and you guys, know that i've always highly recommended this belt so you guys will see why i picked it yes it's another kelly belt and this time i went with this neutral etoupe and so you might be wondering why am i getting this random etoupe kelly belt uh, and also in rose gold. Technically, it would work with my Mini Lindy as well, although my Mini Lindy has gold hardware. But generally speaking, the two hardwares, they're close enough, so I think it also works when I wanna be super matchy-matchy with my Mini Lindy bag. It also works with this Constant Slim. This Constant Slim is in rose gold hardware, even though it doesn't really look like so, but it is rose gold. And also because this lizard color has kind of that taupey kind of shade, even though it's a different color name. So that's how it would look like. I feel like the rose gold tone complement each other. And also um, even the etoupe kind of looks, it matches the belt bag pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's why I got, so it's not super, super random. Although, like I said, I could have used any other belt, even the one that I just bought to make it work, but <laughs> more excuses to buy more belt, I suppose. All right, moving on to some shoes. So these shoes, I am already a big fan of them because I already own a pair. 
in black. So I went ahead and bought myself the white pair. I told you guys that I would end up buying the white pair because I was such a big fan of the black pair. So these are called the Ensemble 50. So they're the size 50 heel and I got it in my true to size 37 and a half. I find them pretty comfortable. They're definitely still um, a bit stiff, like the leather is quite stiff, especially I find the white color to be a bit stiffer than the black color. I just love how classy and simple these are and they're very secure on the heels because they have the strap area and of course I've already worn them but I had to show you guys officially on this video because I already got a few questions about them um, whether they're comfortable and all that. Like I said, I've always never been able to buy the Oran sandals, so the flat version of these sandals. I found the Orans to be too wide. They seem to always fly off my feet. The sandals are also very, very flat, so it doesn't seem to work for me. Neither were the Oasis. The Oasis were also kind of yeah, just didn't feel very stable. So when they came out with this version with the straps, I was very, very happy that I was finally able to buy their classic looking sandals that look just, just like the Orans or the Legends, but with a much uh, more workable, walkable heel. So I'm a big fan of these. I would say of all the versions of the similar looking sandals, these would probably be considered the most comfortable. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would maybe give it an 8 just because, like I said, the leather is a little bit stiff. I wish they did use much softer leather, but I guess with the stiffness, it would probably last longer. So that's the reason why I knocked two points out, but otherwise they are very comfortable for me. Here's another pair of shoes. I did end up buying, I think, a total of three pairs of shoes, but I will show these two pairs for now because it is in season. Um, the last pair is more for fall winter, so just gonna wait for part two, I guess. So these ones, I found them by chance. They were kind of on display and I like the color. Um, also, another pair of sandals. Although these ones don't have any straps in the back, but I found these ones to have kind of like um, more support here so my feet seems to stay put more than the Orans or the Oasis because I think the Oasis only had like this much of the shoe coming out whereas this one come, comes out all the way to here anyway I could be wrong I'm not sure but I also like the block heel and I like that it is a bit slanted so it was, so it has a little bit of design kind of just like your weekend sandal or your everyday sandal. I love the little horseshoe design here on the heel. It's leather here in the front and it's in this gorgeous beige color which is my favorite because I own the same suede beige color in the sheep sandals and those are my most worn so these because of this color it will be very very handy um, it will be very easy to throw on in the summer days, especially when I need a little bit of heel and the sheep sandals are a little bit too casual. Then I can throw on these and look a little bit more put together. For these ones, I was able to size down to a 37. So I guess it worked out for me, the smaller size. But normally I am a 37 and a half, generally speaking in most shoes, especially closed shoes, I definitely need either shooter size or size up. Okay, for the rest of the haul, it's all ready to wear and we'll start off with this one which comes in this little pouch. So this is their swimwear. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really excited about the pouch too. Like, I might be more excited about the pouch than the swimwear, but it's good that it comes together and I chose they're very nice and classic print. Here you go, it's like a little bralette with a little knot design in the front. Um, oh, it comes with removable uh, bra cups which were inside this little pouch. Completely forgot. Very simple bralette design. Um, it opens and closes like so with this little clip here. You clip it in place has a little branding there 
and yeah it's very nice really really nice print i love this Shendong print um, black and white it says bleu noir so it's a very very dark almost black blue but basically black and white let me show you the style code it's called the cecilia and i love that it comes in this pouch i feel like this pouch has a little bit of coating on it which is perfect for taking it to the beach and of course when you're done with it you can also put your swimsuit inside when it's wet but of course i'm probably going to use it for more than that and i'm really excited about these i was contemplating other styles as well including a one piece and in the end i just thought you know what i'm gonna go with the most kind of like classic looking print that is still interesting looks modern but still very timeless and black and white you can't go wrong right and so yeah i'm really looking forward to the summer hopefully we'll go on more vacations and places that have a nice pool so i can get to be bougie in my swimming suit the last few pieces of ready to wear i will show you two out of four these are definitely more for the current season which is why i think it's the right time to show you guys as you guys know ready to wear only comes wrapped in tissue paper or they will sometimes give you a box if they have boxes available but um, tissue paper is fine so here is the first piece that I've actually been wearing quite a few times already it's their cropped pants so it's made in this kind of um, stretchy cottony material it's tailored it has a nice middle seam here it's kind of wide leg but cropped and on the back here there's a little slit detail and some pockets it's rather fitted at the hips on me it's just a little bit cropped because again i'm not super tall only 5'4 um, i took this in a size 34 which fit like a glove and it's um and it's really really nice i will say because it's cropped it's definitely good for like the transitional weather and um possibly in the summertime when it's still a bit cooler out there i will say however i did wish that they also made it in a regular length because i think these pants the way it's fitted at the waist it's really really nice so if they made a full length one it would be so perfect for just for work and all that last but not least um so i saw this ready to wear in early january and i was like oh my gosh it's not the season to wear it but I have to buy it because I know it will sell out. You kind of get a feeling that it's going to be a popular piece and they probably don't have a lot of sizes, which of course I bought the last one. As usual, I always get the last one. It seems like it's always the case. So this, I bought it literally on the same day that I was invited at the Tiffany event back in January. I'm pretty sure it was January. Yeah, it was in the middle of winter time and I wasn't even supposed to go to Hermes, but I just had a little break and so I just popped in. My essay wasn't even working and I saw that they received the new ready to wear and I saw this piece and I was like, oh my gosh, I had to buy it because if I didn't buy it, it would be sold out and of course I bought the very last piece. So this is their paper bag shorts, but it's so, so nice and so flattering. Um, Yes, it's ready to wear. It's pretty expensive, but for Hermes, it's considered pretty okay. And especially, um, I know for a fact that this pair of shorts, if I didn't buy it, it would not be there anymore. And of course it wasn't there anymore after, since I already bought the last one. And I'm so excited because now I get to wear it. I still have the tags on because I've been waiting for the summertime. Uh, there you go. Here's the style code if you want to check it out. This and my mini color works so seamlessly as well because it's in the same family of color. I hope you guys enjoy this collective haul part one. Don't forget to check out Gingerberry. Their pieces, wow, really blew my mind. I mean, these are so cute. <laughs> I love everything that I got and check out the links below and my coupon code. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the eye candy. I love watching unboxing videos, so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!